Hi, this is Mark Patterson, University Ombuds for Cal State University, Channel Islands, with a quick conflict management tip. Ever been in a situation where you feel like, man, this shouldn't be so hard, or something's changed, or I am so confused, or just I'm lost? If you're feeling like that in your organizations, you may be a victim of what is common in Western culture of a do-and-tell mentality. We are valued so often for our ability to come up with solutions, to be insightful, to have the right answer. And sometimes, though those are good instincts, they can also lead us astray and put us in situations where we're unable to see our way past some of these head scratchers. So I wanted to suggest considering a tool which deliberately doesn't give the answer and, in fact, creates more questions. And in questions, there's often power to find new solutions which may seem unsolvable where you are at the moment. So here's how question storming works. First, you start with what I think of as a disputable statement, not something that is very generic, but something that may or may not be true but something about a, a situation that seems particularly challenging. Say in an academic setting, and this is a disputable statement, students cannot be counted on to adhere to social distancing standards as staff and faculty return to a campus environment. There's your disputable statement, framing that in the very beginning in a way that folks can either accept or not accept, but should be a point of generating questions. Then, put it in a sort of game format. Implement an explicit structure. Key elements of the structure you should consider are a short time limit and a quantity goal. For example, you want to generate questions, 15 questions in four minutes. Keep the time short. Now, when we talk about the questions, this is the heart of it, of course. The questions should be truly questions, not explanations not answers, not responses to other people's questions. And the questions can be any question. They really do not have to be limited to uh, one particular category, say again, on the question of, or the statement of, students cannot be counted on to adhere to social distancing standards. It could be asked questions like, who counts as a student? Again, anything is fair game. Just generating as many questions as possible is the key. And they should be recorded. If, you're, if it's possible to have somebody taking notes, great. If it's just you working alone, um, record them on a little recorder. But have them in a, in a position where they'll be recorded. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to move into the next phase, which is after the time is up, to refine. Look for themes. Look for groupings. Look at the questions again and say, how would we ask this differently? Sort them out. And then, if helpful, do another round. But the questions themselves will be the more the better, and the more that you can refine them will create new opportunities to get past that, what do we do now, or I'm so confused. Use question storming to be an open pass for answers. Scan was Mark Patterson, University Ombuds for Cal State University Channel Islands with a quick conflict management tip.